Ucho says the bulge is manifested in the population that is fast becoming predominantly youthful. What we have in Africa is what we call the youth bulge. That is youth uh, uh, predominant in the population. And they can either be an asset of development or a liability for development. He says this can be a dividend if well utilized. He says the push factors out of the rural areas, including lack of better livelihoods and unemployment, is pushing many youth into deplorable conditions in the urban areas. However, the continued migration to the cities, Professor Oucho says, could be counterproductive because the hunt for better lives is instead pushing many into squalor with the resultant new concept springing, which is the ruralization of the urban centers, with the middle income earners quickly fizzling into the low income bracket. The ruralization of urban areas simply means the transfer of rural livelihoods in urban areas, transforming the, the traditional lifestyles in the rural area, urban settings, and not really quite. In other words, we are transferring human poverty from urban, rural areas to urban areas, what we call the uh, popularization of the urban population. Speaking on the sidelines of the Second Africa Rural Development Forum in Yaounde, Cameroon, Professor Oucho says the solution lies in developing county capital cities that will absorb the youthful population. He says devolved units should begin to invest in infrastructure that allows the youth to invest. But even the so-called uh, middle, middle income population, or the middle, or the, the, the middle income poor people are, are, are disappearing in our midst. Most of them are becoming underclass because uh, the economic lifestyle is in cities is such that cities have become very expensive. And people are simply trying to survive. Professor Oucho says the special aspect of planning of African cities could also be a solution to over-dependence on the traditional cities, including Nairobi, Mombasa, and now Nakuru. It could be like in the case of Kenya, if the devolved governance could take uh, advantage of developing the smaller towns, starting, for example, with the county capitals. These county capitals would provide a basis for employment, for self-employment and entrepreneurship. And we have to look at the special aspects of planning of our country to be able to uh, grade our towns in terms of, in a kind of hierarchy. You know, the principal cities, the secondary cities, the third, or the cities in the third hierarchy, the cities in the... For the Business Defined, I'm Judith Akolo.